Hey everybody, Spidey here as always. I hope you're having a marvelous day. Yesterday, while we were at Culture Collision in Atlanta, we met Dave, the owner of DSC, Dave Sports Cards. And he says he has Marvel cards. He wanted to come to the store and check it out. He gave us like a, a, a great sales pitch on him having a lot of stuff and that he has some maybe 90s Marvel cards, some boxes and things of that nature. So we're gonna go, come check it out, get to know Dave, get to see his store, so let's go. Good, Dave, how's it going, man? Good to be here. Nice still, to see you. Yeah, still a little early in the morning, isn't it? It is. Never too early for cards. Yeah, no, it isn't. So this is this is it. This is Dave's sports cards. We're, we usually open at 11 our time here. But you got open early for me. We like you that much. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Thank you. So we're Michael, getting... We got Michael here early, too. And Michael. Here, Professor Pokemon Mike, man. We and eat, breathe, and sleep the, the, the Pokemon. I saw the Pokemon sign. So you have you have two stores here? We really? have two stores here now. We originally started with this side here. This was the original side. Uh-huh. Uh, and it was pretty much overflowing with stuff. So what we did was we cut the firewall out with a cinder, you know, the, the, the giant Yeah. Salt. Good uh, night. And then you can walk through the stairs. I can give you the tour there here. Yeah, um, give us a quick tour yeah, and then we'll uh, sure. we'll settle Sorry, in. Part of the mess. Oh man, this this doesn't look anything messy to no, me. This no, looks great. we keep it really clean. So we how? We are direct with Upper Deck, so we have the unique ability to get all the product. Not everybody in the state of Georgia is direct with Upper Deck. It's hard to get it. If you don't pass their test by missing only one yeah. question, you cannot be direct with them. And direct, is that like, like I generally buy from Dave and Adams. Sure. Is that, is that exactly. the similar? Exactly. Now, Dave and Adams, of course, you know, they get many more cases than me. Okay, but, uh, the, yeah, a lot that's different. We at least get a few. So. Well, what I love is that you have a local storefront, and to support that, I think, is really important. Of course. And we, you know, generally on the channel, we say, hey, if you can find a local store, mm -hmm. go there first if you can. And, right. you know, no slight to anybody else that's online, but right. support your local people first. Sure, so I think course. that's important. Uh, so this is, uh, these are, these are uh, gamer mats, right? Exactly. Those are gamer mats. We, and the sleeves, do you have these? No, I don't, not the yeah. second, no, no, we don't have any sleeves. Um, they send us some things, you know, calendars, and I mean, look, like, you know, uh, I just put that up over there, like, that's perfect for you. That is perfect, look at that. <laughs> and uh, But the Star Wars and the Marvel stuff has really blown up over the years. Ah, so, um, so we got... Yeah, I have some more metal in the back, I just kind of keep one of each out on display, but... Um, and you have an older uh, Far From Home? We've got one of those, uh, I guess, yeah. One, one random one there. Uh, we've got the, the new one, uh, some annual. Uh, things come and go. We get other stuff as well, but we've sold out of things also, which is good and bad. It is. Um, yeah, you want to sell, and then you and then, then, of then you sell we, we stock comic books, of course. Uh, we've got well, tons of Marvel. I did want to point out, I see the Mando back here. Yes, those are all signed. The, by, uh, by the artist. Uh, Gravati, how do you say his name? I think, uh, or, yeah, I can't. I know his name. I just can't or, say. Uh, is, does he go by four? No, it's a. Uh, or did he? Was it the writer or the? I can't remember. That might be the writer. I'm actually. sorry, the writer. I apologize. Yeah, because uh, I, I can't remember this guy's name. That's okay. his signature there. Okay, that's how he I, got it, I got it. I uh, got it. Yeah, that's a really cool one because this is, I think, considered now the first appearance of, of Mando. Okay. And uh, I think it's considered a um, cameo by Grogu, who's. First full appearance. Okay. Of the I know. I looked that up a while ago. I don't know if it's gone up or not, but I. Yeah, it's a great on. book. Uh, that's cool. My, my buddies are Dave and Dan Kemp. Um, Dave and Dan, Dan, Dan Dave Kemp and Dan and Dan Kemp. They did a lot of uh, all the you know all of the Spawn stuff, a lot of Marvel stuff as well. Like that's a great all piece. This, he colored and did all this, all these. The, their, their brother. Oh my God. <laughs> discount. 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 He did this kind of stuff. Oh, he has a great signature too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm familiar with this Daredevil cover. That yeah, is awesome. They, 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 they've been around for I don't know, 20 years. So but does one do one draw one ink? They both do the coloring. Both do the coloring. Okay. Yes, they do the coloring. Those are good friends of mine. We went in California because I'm I'm from Roswell. And then I moved yeah. to California in 2004. Yeah. I was in Huntington Beach and Laguna Beach. Yeah. So I never got out of the hobby, obviously. I worked at SCP Auctions in Laguna Niguel with David Kohler, who's La a very famous auctioner. Laguna Niguel, I was there late last year. It was okay. a beautiful place. Oh yeah, my family had a home in Laguna for 20 years. Wow. 
So they sold moved to Austin, Texas. Um, I went. I moved back here. Three years I've been back. It's yeah. just so expensive there, you know. It is. It's wild. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. No, no. So I've been here three years, and you see what I've done. I mean, I built the one store down the street, sold that store, okay. and then opened it. Hot Hand Sports Cards was my original store that I built, and then I sold that store. You still got the hot hands? I do. <laughs> uh, but uh, not a lot of people actually display marble cards like yeah, this in your store. I mean, yeah. Um, let's, let's, the, and sets and things like that. I do want to focus on this because, yeah. I mean, this to me this speaks to, hey, I want to have something for everybody at every price. Yeah, range. and I even have higher end marble stuff in that case to the, the back side. Oh, uh, so this is your metal set that you were referring to? Yeah, there's, the, you know, it, it's wild what walks in, but, you know, all right, everybody knows this is one of my favorite cards here, Spider-Man Metal. And can I open this, Dave? You can do whatever you want. Thank you, Dave. Okay, so. Here's some other ones. Yeah, I don't know. There's so many. Uh, don't want to. Want to be uh, yeah, they might be in order. I would hope so. Yeah, I think they are. And I think what we have here is the base set. And there's some inserts. And it's cool, man. This is a, you yeah. Well, so Dave, have you, have you thought about the fact that this is 95 metal uh, and 95 metal, you know, made its appearance before metal showed up in sports, which was in 96. Okay, sure, exactly, with uh, baseball and basketball. Yeah. Oh, and football too as well, original PMGs. Original PMGs. So I just think that um, this set is really important because it's, it's, it's almost like Skybox was, uh, was testing it out. Mm -hmm. on Marvel first to see how the technology worked. Look at that. Isn't that just one of the best Gambits ever put, oh, yeah, with the... put on a car? Mm -hmm. Now, the Metal Blasters are actually original art from what I understand. Okay. So this art was made for the cards as opposed to the base cards or comic book art. Okay, okay. So you've been a fanatic since you were a kid concentrating just on the Marvel? Yeah. Okay. I, I've never collected sports outside okay. of Kobe Bryant. Okay, okay. Uh, I have the last card he ever signed before he passed. Are you serious? Yeah, on card with the sticker that he put on the back. He touched it personally. The very last series he ever touched was The Revolution. Wow. They're up to almost four grand. I have one. Wow. My, uh, sit, yeah. I, well, do, Kobe, I do own that card. <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, we, I would love to show it to you. I didn't know you were into Kobe. That's cool. I, I would love to see it. Yeah, I also own his last All-Star Game ticket ever from 2016 in Toronto, the really rare one that's yeah. the VIP silver. It's in a museum glass in my vault room on the sports side. Wow. I, I would like to yeah. check that out. Yeah, Kobe holds, holds a special place, Mark. Now he's, you know, you know, sadly passed. Uh, I can't. It's, I just don't have the interest in professional sports quite like I did, but I do well, still have a lot of my Kobe rookies from my childhood. Okay. So what happened was, Allen Iverson obviously came out mm -hmm. uh, with some other some other players too that people were attracted to, but Allen kind of took the lead by storm. So most of my peer group, which is seventh graders, okay. are all Allen Iverson fans. You? I'm 39. Okay, I'm 40, so same age. Same age. And so um, our PE coach would make us watch the slam dunk contest whenever it would rain. Okay. So we would sit in the gym mm -hmm. and he would bring out a TV and we'd watch Kobe win the dunk contest over and over again. And so I just naturally said, well, I'm going to go the opposite of my friends and be a Kobe I'll fan. That's wild. Steve. And uh, so I started collecting his cards okay. and uh, I still have them. Dude, that's, you're smart. <laughs> so this is uh, where I hang out most of the time. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yeah, we don't play around. We just had all custom dry fit stuff made. Just I like the hats too, man. Those yeah, are really real nice. Real new era hats. And we've got everything organized by sport. So hockey. Yeah. And then vintage football, all of the football hobby and retail, uh, modern football, vintage basketball, a little, like you said, more Kobe's and stuff here, and then some more vintage uh, here, basketball, modern basketball. It's a lot to take in, but we. Yeah, so here's, a, here's an example of a sports medal. This is 90, what year is it? 95, 96? 96. There you on go. That one there. It's a great card. I've got some crazy ones in my office, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at the Kobe medal. It's a great card. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, a lot of this stuff's getting hard to find. All of these refractors from, like the, like you said, all of these, you know, that Allen Iverson refractor, all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff is, is drying up because people aren't selling, you know. They really want 
those 90s and 2000s refractors and that's, you know the, what I mean? The, it's the inserts in the, in the mid to late 90s are just the best, aren't they? they? No, they are. It's insane. I have some crazy pop one ones in the vault right we're, now. We're seeing this with Marvel too. It's slowly, not anything like drastically can be seen, but mm -hmm. people are going, okay, yeah. So the, the new stuff is numbered, okay? Mm -hmm. That's rare, but it, it's, it's kind of a forced rarity to some degree, mm -hmm. right? And they're like going back to the 90s going, okay, here are these inserts that are very condition sensitive that are really nice they're sure. not making that quality right now right and it's the the attraction's going back to it i mean on new upper deck it's funny they still stay true right it's hard to get a 10 on a png there's <laughs> that, that is <laughs> that, if you get that an is eight, still you're true. having little you're like yeah you're above, you're above uh better than this rare is, this is kind of the the start of the baseball. baseball all baseball we really pride ourselves i mean this is a baseball town right baseball and football drive the store yeah um then the pokemon and basketball has kind of died off a little bit lately as right. far as sales um that's gonna be dependent on how well the hawks are playing right some of that and i think it was just so overhyped in 2020 yeah and it's kind of come back down to reality i mean lebron's starting to go back up i mean i sold the two, uh 0304 chrome rookie yesterday i had it at psa 9. yeah um, that's a two thousand dollar card now again. So oh wow, those are starting to go back up. But Wait. yeah, then all vintage baseball, which I built my career on vintage baseball. I own every set. It's at my house, nineteen fifty four through nineteen seventy six. Every Hall of Famer graded by PSA and put back in the set. That's at my house. Wow, that's an incredible collection. I appreciate it. Um, I mean, this is kind of all extra stuff that I have. What you know, obviously, I'm not a sports person, but sure. what I like about some of the vintage stuff is there's an element of art to it. Of course, they, they almost have like the painted vibe. Of course, uh, yeah, I think that's the portrait style. And I think that's what makes the Mickey Mantle 52 of so course. special because it looks like a piece of artwork. No, of course it's. Uh, no, of course that's the last, that's the last one that I need. So uh, <laughs> oh, we, we're we, still we, working on that one. Yeah, huh? yeah. We, we, did I show you that I picked up the rookie yesterday? Yeah, so you did. That, you know, I'm, I'm getting very close. That was the Bowman. Is that what I remember you exactly. saying? Exactly. We'll look at those. Yeah, the 1951 Bowman. You know, cards were made 1909, 1910, 1911, T206, T205s like this, right? They started off looking like that. 1909, yeah. 1910, 1911, and then moving into the 30s. There's still and 40s. something special about that. Of you course. Know? Yeah. Well, he's in Just, the Hall of Fame. Mordecai three finger brown three finger yeah i think he had some oh, okay yeah, and, then, <laughs> and then obviously soccer um ufc i mean we really truly have everything in this at, at dave sports cards and, and dsc we we yeah. have something for everybody so i, see I don't that. like someone to walk in and go they can't find what they're looking yeah, hey, do you have this? an interest in it we Our, don't do Yu -Gi -Oh, but. question about uh this all right so upper deck is still yes. making sports mm -hmm. They don't have the NBA license, right? Correct. How different is the hobby right now if Upper Deck has the NBA license with Jordan, with LeBron, with Kobe? And It would be Kobe. astronomical. I mean, the green short print that I think once sold for, I don't know if the guy's asking 110 or 120, but I would imagine that if it had the licensing rights, it would be a quarter of a million or you, up again. You mean like 110,000? Yes. I mean, for right now, they're not going, I think, the green Jordans. I mean, the the Jordan, the Kobe, LeBron, or Tiger Greens. Yeah. If they had the license, yeah, it would be. But they're out. in practice, you know, clothes or Even something like that. Even with that, they're worth that much. So, yeah, can you imagine if it was licensed? Yeah. It just, would be, this wouldn't be a $500 box. It would be a $5,000 box. I, and I'm just thinking about the all the all the brands that they, they have. Exactly. Whether it's Platinum Portrait or EX Century or all of that Planet stuff. Metals, you know, all of that stuff. I had an EX uh, in the vault before the break-in, but that's... Uh, this is some personal items I've collected. Uh, that's LeBron James yearbook from high school. Oh, wow. This inside of there is an original 61 Mickey Mantle post serial card on cut with the Roger Maris on the back. That's Look at Jeter. The last, you know, lit New York post ever made for the last game he played. That's the final uh, last home run King Griffey Jr. ever hit in the original Yankee Stadium. Wow. That's a really rare 33 and a half record with Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig, so they'll both speak to you. Um, that ticket stubs right after, I think, number 728, Hank Aaron's home run, that little Braves one. Oh, wow. These above here, no one has these. This is the first day Yankee Stadium opened. Babe Ruth hit his first home run ever. This is not a reprint. These are original artifacts from the Library of Congress from the government. How did you get that? I've had these for 20 years. I originally paid $200 for the four of them at an auction house in around the year 2000 when I was like 19 years old. 74,200 C. Ruth smash first homer. This is Murderer's Row in 1927 during the World Series, the most famous Yankees lineup of all time with Lou Gehrig. That's a very famous Lou Gehrig speech on the luckiest man. Speech. Oh, yeah. That's him and Ruth. 
and then Riz dies in 1948 here. Wow. And then in the vault room, this is my vault room here. Dave, question for you. What is the criteria for something to come into your vault? For in this vault room here, it's got to be special, it's got to be rare, yeah. and it's got to be expensive. So, okay. The, um, the vault room is usually jam-packed. Some of it's obviously a culture collision this weekend that we're bringing the vault room out on the road. But right. you, usually this is, you can't see the glass, usually it's full. It's so full. Um, that's the last card Kobe Bryant ever signed. Wow. And it got a nine. It got a nine. You know how PSA is nine happy, but it's fine. At least yeah, they, they are. encased it up there. and. He put the little sticker there with his bare hand. And oh, wow. He was doing that later in uh, some of the years on card, so. And that Gosh. was right before he passed. I tell you, as a Kobe fan, the, yeah. oh, wow, there's the, there's the stub, the all-star stub, 2016. That's a beautiful stub, by the way, wow. No, it is, it's pristine. My friend who has like the nicest Kobe collection in the world, Legacy Sports Card, Sean uh -huh. Mayer. Yeah, I've, I've seen him on Instagram. Yeah, Sean's a good friend of mine. Wow. So I used to, I held all the 30 Kobe credentials raw before he sent them in. Wow. I held all of them in my hand. I said he was nuts, but. Well, the thing for me, for Kobe, that as a fan, not, not as a collector, but as a fan was very frustrating is that there was such a polarizing opinion about him. Right. Because people that fandom get in the way and can see him as a person, mm -hmm. and you know the arrogant, all that kind of, of stuff. Course. I'm like, but that drove his madness, drove him to greatness. And so but it's... and now you know, it, you know, obviously it took tragedy for some people to see, but mm -hmm. it's a, it's universal now. Almost. Of course, no, it's it's wild. You, you see the the picture he was painting, so to speak. It was wild. Yeah, was, that's all those early, the, all that stuff's pop 101. Pop, I mean, not the Durant room, but all these inserts that you're seeing are this is the only dirt that's a 10 in the entire world and i own it it's a pop one of one so a lot of these wow. are the only 10s that exist in the world and you're looking at them this kobe is the only 10 of this that exists in what the world. what a beautiful card out of 50. yeah this is the only one in the world that exists what does world. That's only out of the Father's Day packs. You had to be a shop owner to get the packs directly from Panini to open it to get it. And then you only you only had 50 opportunities to get a yes. to get a 10. So I had that roll and submitted it. In. <laughs> Good it's job, man. Insane. You've seen you've seen this one on now. This is a very famous one. Oh yeah, I love that reverse dunk. That's a refractor. You know all this kind of uh, stuff here. I mean, I'm I'm a vintage uh, baseball person by heart. The, which I built my career on. So growing up, Mickey Mantle was my favorite. I always dreamed of having at least. So you've got quite the Mantle collection going all the way across here. Yeah, so this is in yearly order. And what you're looking at is in the top 50 collections in the entire world as far as PSA is concerned. You can yeah. go on the registry today and look at it. It starts in 1951 with this rookie, then moves into 52. 53 is my favorite card. Point to it. Uh, this one here, the 1953. It's a great looking card. That's my favorite one. My grandfather drew that with a piece of charcoal with his bare hands. Go up top, and that's the one you just acquired yesterday? Yes, and that's about 15,000. Wow, okay, and you just said something that I missed. You said- I uh, will go into my office, my personal office. My grandfather drew that, that with a piece of charcoal with his bare hands. I have it in a frame. Wow. So that held that with me since 1999. He, asked me to reach my potential then, so I think I've you, you, almost done it. I, I, I see, I, I see a lot of potential uh, reached here. Uh, so. This is insane. This is one of the rarest mantles in the entire world. That's a 1964 top stand-up Mickey Mantle at a PSA 7. They weren't numbered. They were extremely difficult to find. You could pop the card out and stand up on its own. Wow. But to have this set of seven is basically... Because everybody popped them out. Exactly. And that's one of the most beautiful inserts of Mickey Mantle the, that was ever made. The color's still so good. It, it's incredible. Wow. So, um, it's not a uh, 101 Spider-Man PMG. <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, it's, I, it's still cool. Uh, and then runs through his playing years there. And uh, a more high-end, very high-end wax. Really hard to find stuff as well. This is back like we were discussing when they yeah. had licensing rights. Right. So that stuff is good luck finding that. Anything 2020, of course, is insane because Herbert and Burrow hurts and all those dudes. So this, you're, you have these price so people can't come into the vault. Everything is for sale that has a price. The mantles are not. Yeah, I was going to say, well, not the mantles, right? Uh, You're starting to vault the marble a little bit here, I see. Exactly. Let me, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You're good. Um, I love the grandiose venom. Yes. Do you have that one? I don't have 
I don't think I actually have that one. Well, to be today you're going to receive a gift from me. Oh, wow. Which is this. Do you have that no, one? No, I don't. Now you do. We I, ha ha I happen to have a duplicate of that. I wanted to give that to you as a gift for coming here. Thanks so much, Dave. This is the Clayton Crane Venom, the grandiose, which I really love. This is one of the top cards uh, from an art standpoint in the set. That's awesome, dude. Thank you. So, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's no real, that's a real treat. No worries. <laughs> Not a big deal. I have, uh, for some reason, I have two. Yeah. I don't know why. Hey, well, uh, you well, hot hands, remember? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I on the Spider-Man front, I started to get obsessed with it. So, um, this is out of 75, which is, you know, tougher than the, mm -hmm. the DMGs. I don't know. That's... Planet why Metal, that's, yeah. Why that's graded. Uh, I must have thrown it in there. But, this, yeah, there's, there's some here that have come back. Yeah, I see and that. I'm really pleased with the grades. Yeah, I see eights, nines, eights, nines, eights, one eight, seven, eight, one seven, and that's that's like probably going to be the norm, right? Yeah, it's hard to get above a seven from what I've seen, mm -hmm. and then this is really the all my hard work. So this is the entire base set. Okay. This is the entire base set done in gold. Gold. This sweet. is the entire base set done in grandiose. And just to make sure everybody knows, this is 200 cards per set. Yes, the first 100 are normal, and the 101 to 200 were short printed, the high numbers. Yeah, the, the high series. And is then what we these are to. the neon blues, which was, uh, I believe, 10 uh, redemptions of the same character for one single one of these. And then yeah. here you'll see the coalition. And this could only be done on EPAC. Yes. Which correct. sold out, you know, in four weeks. When sure. We got all of the shadow books, um, all of the bugles. Yeah, all of and the, there's, there's some that are super short printed on those. All of the palladium. Right. Are you aware of the? The one that didn't get printed on the palladiums so there's 50 but there's one missing okay. mary jane upper deck swears we'll never see it but if you ever do make sure you pick it up mary jane okay well i don't think I, yeah yeah i didn't know that okay. yeah uh, it'll end up being the rarest card out of the set if it ever pops up like as a mistake through the back there door. was a mm -hmm, there was a production issue and they they removed them all that's crazy. Yeah, so keep, uh, and then keep an the, eye on that. And then the, I have all of these, which is kind of tough. These uh, The Planet Metals here? Do I you, have all 20. Do you, oh, that's awesome. Do you have any of the uh, numbered ones, like the copper, I the don't, gold? Um, I have seen those. Um, I guess it's like, how deep do you want to go down the rabbit hole? I think you, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, do I want to spend 150000 No, that, no. That, that, you know, yeah, I mean, it's tough. Uh, you know, I guess it would be try to get these Ooh, and then wait you could get here. crazy with that. Oh, look at this Doc That's Ock. really rare, yeah. Yeah. It's a, kind of, uh, it's a comic cut. cut. And this one's out of 30, uh, 16 or 35, but I just really love this. Uh, he's it's in such a great tux. image of him. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's in the tux. He's getting married. That's what's <laughs> happening. That's kind of crazy right there. I'm a, I'm a comic cut fan. Oh, no, that's yeah. cool. Uh, it's very hard to pull those. I had a, I did have a... Uh, Hobgoblin green PMG pulled out of my store from a gentleman. Really? Which we lost our minds. You can go back on my Instagram and you can see him as he's pulling it. We were screaming, so well, I, I did have one green. I'll I've watch seen. that. I pulled, I opened almost 60 boxes physical and did not hit a single green. Oh, wow. I know, I know. I've seen I haven't hit <laughs> one either. I pulled, uh, the, I pulled, um, I think the other version of this out of a box like a couple weeks back around Christmas. I treated yeah. myself and busted one. I try to get a box every couple weeks, like, and just just store enjoy it and rip some. I don't know. All right, I see it. You there were telling you us. Yeah, yeah, there's the charcoal. So, and Babe Ruth's granddaughter signed that little thing of him up there, Linda Ruth, which is kind of close to Babe Ruth. So, yeah. You know. so that, I would consider. That's it. I mean, we just you know we hang out here, we we have fun. And, well, anyway, more men. I need a store to hang out in on a regular <laughs> basis. That would be that would be awesome. All right, Dave, I want to show you some of my cards here. Oh, please, I've, I'd be honored to see some of yours. Yeah, just make sure that's on. Okay. We'll get that first uh, drooling reaction. Yeah, we'll start <laughs> We'll start here because you got, I have some stuff that you may need uh, at some point, so you just have to let me know. But let's get these out. Yeah, oh. so I started collecting when, when I was a kid with my twin brother. I have a twin, and then um, took a break for quite a while Okay. because girls. <laughs> <laughs> Who's better looking? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, he got the brains, I got the looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's a stud. He's got long, curly brown hair. Okay, and, okay. You know, blue Keep eyes. Short and easy. That's it. That's it. All right, we're going to show you these first. So, this is just, uh, you know, make sure I'm in the camera here. 
Uh, th this is just stuff I'm going to get graded, but you know, since you're in the Spider-Man metal. Oh yeah, oh so wow. This one's out of 25. Oh my goodness. Spider-Man oh, Noir. Um, I collect Dark Phoenix out of X-Men metal. She's my PC okay. for that set. Okay. That's a pink out of 75 here. Gorgeous. Uh, the, no, not really any chipping on that one. No, it, it, this, uh, that's why I already have one graded, but it got a, I think it got an eight. And so we're going to see if we can get a better grade. Uh, these are from 92. These are going to get graded here. Obviously, I'm after PSA 10s on these. Okay. I brought them with me because I thought PSA might be here, but they're not uh, at Culture Collision. Sure. Uh, this is a Go Bullion. Then oh, this is one of the EPAC achievements yeah, I'm going to yeah, get graded yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, wow. Spider-Man. That's a really tough one. Mm -hmm. So Spider-Man is is my PC, period. And, sure. And specifically Peter Parker Spider-Man, which you see that is Peter Parker. Okay. So anything, anything, anything that's not Peter Parker Spider-Man mm -hmm. or uh, if it's not Dark Phoenix from X-Men Metal, it's always, that's the stuff that I'm, I'm selling or trading to get Peter Parker. Okay. Kind of like you, you're always upgrading to Mickey Mantle. Sure, right? sure. Uh, this is out of 50 here. Oh this my is the, the uh, turquoise 2099. What a gorgeous car. I don't know if I've even seen that. Yeah, it's just oh, a gorgeous wow, car. Wow, is that an orange that's one? That's an orange. To 20, 25. Oh, that's nuts. To 25 here. Yeah. Gorgeous card. Very difficult. These the People don't understand how difficult it is to pull these yeah. or even find them on eBay or whatever. They don't really come up that much. Yeah. And we have the out of 75, uh, another pink here, again, okay. to get graded. Okay. Uh, this is going to be the gold to get graded. That's actually the base. And look, you have to be really careful because oh my the base yeah. and the pink, tell me the difference. <laughs> Yeah, just the numbering probably. It's just virtually just the numbering. The pink foiling didn't take to this background, you know. Of course, the grandiose here to go with it. Gorgeous card. Uh, got a copper oh, venom. Geez. This is 90 out of 99 here. Great we card. Have the uh, Spider-Man Planet Metal. And then these are the 95 Silver Flashers. I mean, we were talking about 95 yes. Metal in our yes. previous video. And gosh, I just love these. I'm chasing PSA 10s. And okay. you'll see m more why here in a minute. but. Just love that. I mean, it's not a. Oh, that's an awesome card. The, the, all the extra legs. And yeah, all the the, uh, the alternate M. So it's like alternate reality kind of thing. But uh, this always meant a lot to me because it happened in the cartoon in the '90s, okay. <laughs> and that was kind of my sure, thing. Sure, sure. Here we have the Silver Flasher Spider-Man. I mean, uh, to me, this is you know similar in terms of like the way a PMG would look in the background, the way, right. the, way the color is. Oh, so you really seek out clean examples too. You seem like you're pretty like you're not going to settle if there's any kind. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want this in a ten. That's this is absolutely what I'm after, 100. percent It's probably the number one car I'm after okay. right now. To get it in a ten, so you have it in a nine. Uh, I have it in a nine. Yes, you're exactly right. And uh, but you're going to see the other cards like it. I have in a ten here in a minute. Uh, this is from a retro 2015 retro getting that great at PSA 10 is what I'm looking for. Oh, 1990, 91. Well, so one. actually, no, these are retros. So oh, I'm sorry. This so Upper Deck redid cards in 2015 and they made them in the likeness of 90MU okay. uh, flare from 94, 95. Uh, this is an older car from uh, uh, Creators here, I believe. Which is, I just Did you ever meet Stanley at a sign? No, no I, I I, I, I've seen him pass right by me, but I at a Frank and Sons he used to yeah. sign, and I had to table in Frank and Sons several times. Because right? it's I'm, not I'm far from Laguna Niguel. No, I'm an idiot. I mean, I had multiple opportunities. I was like, oh, I don't want to sit for two hours and wait because the line was always out the door. And I was like, I'll just get him next time. Yeah. I'll just get him next time. And then. And then next time never happened. Oh, here we go. Okay. And we yeah, got some yeah. PMGs here. These are to, to get graded to, nice. to sell. So we got Ghost Spider here. Clayton Crane art, really nice. Sure. We've got uh, silk here. Okay. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful silk. Low awesome series. card. Carnage. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. yeah. I, I've been trying to go out. I don't. I don't think I have that one. Yeah, the color match. Oh, I really love good. that card. That's a great card. Isn't that great? Also, oh. Clayton Crane art. Oh uh, yeah. These I see. I don't have any of those. Platinum yeah. portraits. These are those tough, tough pulls. Um, yeah. These these were tough. Uh, we got Black Widow here. Iron Spider. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's uh, a nice one. It, I think I might have that one. Yeah. So this, I have a checklist built. It's color-coded. That's the only way. Yeah, the only yeah. way is to do a color-coded. Um, th I'm building the out of 62 set. So okay. you're going to see oh that, that I want the out of 62s. I want to build that entire set. Okay. This is a buyback. So this is a car actually from 1994. That they bought back and stamped. Okay. They bought back and stamped it out of 20. And I just, I love that because this is the cards I collected as a kid reinserted uh, and stamped, and it just adds another layer of collectability for of me. Of course. Uh, I'm gonna run through these. These are Don Rush from 1966, so these are the first ever Marvel cards. 
So wow. first ever Spider-Man. And you can still find these around. People are really just not paying attention to them, to be honest with you. I haven't even seen Yeah, I mean, look at that. Classic. That is uh, that is a... Uh, oh, and that you mean it wasn't that expensive to buy? I bought all of these for 200 bucks. you got to be kidding me. Yeah. These are unbelievable. Yeah. You know, as, as someone who likes Mickey Mantle, you can kind of no, you, you kind of get that vintage, vintage feel, don't you? Oh, and it makes a it makes a uh, poster. It does. Wow. And it actually makes one that has Spider Man on it, so you can get one card that just has Spider Man's face on the back of it, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, these are awesome! I love the original Marvel art. I'm you know, it's like all the original, you know, X Men cover and Spider Man. Everything. Yeah. That, to, to me, that's really the quintessential birth and just. I mean, it's their masterpieces, right? Yeah. Of art. I, mean, it's I, I, I really love what just happened. I don't mean to dissect this instantly on camera, but I've just shown you all the low number new stuff. But the thing that just like grabbed you was the older vintage stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that special? No, it is, man. I, I just, I just think that's because it's the it, it. I mean, dude, it. That's how it started. That's why I like the electro PMG because it has his web out like that, <laughs> right. his hand on yeah. the side. Yeah, you that's can see him in I there. That card. But I mean, this is. From 1966. Oh, these are incredible. See, I'd like I'd like to get some of these now. You just inspired you me. You inspired you. <laughs> well, I mean, Spider-Man comes out in 62, so this is just four years later. So okay. he has, he's, I mean, he's popular, but he's not yet what he's going to become. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, just. That's awesome, too, with his double face. <laughs> double face. How the Spidey cool sense is, is going off. That's like the but, uh, early Batman, that, because I have right. it sealed, the, the little set, the card playing thing. Yeah. I have that in my uh, personal collection. I have that set. That is the awesome. The Batman set, I guess. But it, D don't miss it because we, we focus in on Spider-Man, but this is the first Daredevil, okay. first Iron Man. Oh my goodness. First Daredevil set, I mean, Jeez. first Thors. Wow. So, so any yeah, from this oh, set oh, is- It's the first time they first did a card. For the, yeah. First Look Hulk. at that, holding the, yeah, the get, like, I mean, dude, that's just awesome. Yeah. Man. Collect all 50. So there's 50 of them. So are you going to get the whole set? I'm working on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that's- I'd rather do it myself. <laughs> So, oh yeah, okay. And that's right. Those are tough too. Yeah. So these these You're are gonna jambalas. go after every subset. No, I'm no, only I'm after Peter Parker Spider Man. I'm sorry. Okay. So anything you see, here, well, I am gonna do the full set of of 66, as you can imagine. But it, so these are all just to get more Spider Man. So these will be graded. And these will go up for sale for people who collect these characters or this set to get more. Sp In I fact, I already put together a set of jambalas and traded them for a card. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Okay. Wild, you put that, you, that's very difficult to do. Yeah, and then so here we have the out of 62 Venom. And, and Spider-Man Metal was, it was special for me because uh, when I came back into the hobby, it was the first Spider-Man centric release mm -hmm. that I was able to buy in at pre-order and all that kind of stuff. Sure. So uh, I've chosen to do the out of 62s for that one. Uh, why you keep seeing those. These are Mirages here from Masterpieces, Marvel Masterpieces. That's an odd, those are very expensive. People don't realize how expensive it is to rip hobby Marvel Masterpiece it's, now recently. I mean, it's, it's insane. Yeah, it's out of cheapest time. boxes you can get are probably 300 bucks. That's old 90s and they brick. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Okay. Anything from there goes from 500, 800, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. It's just crazy. I had the numbered ones on the, the ones that were numbered. Was that? So that's 2016, 2018, and 2020. Okay, those I are numbered. I, I sold out of the. I had. I used to have some in the case, but they you sold. sold. Yeah, it makes sense. So this is. Would have ripped one, man. It's like, that would have been awesome. I know. Twenty out of twenty. Twenty-five oh out goodness. of twenty-five. Pulled so if one. it's a character related to that series, you're still into it. I'm into it, but again, like, these yeah, are all to sell to, to get sell. to it. get more Spider-Man. Got it. Okay. So this is a buyback again of a '90s card. This is out Wild. of fifty. That is awesome. So God, these are awesome. I mean, it, it, it's just like the sports, right? The vibe. It's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. But you know, Peter Parker's my Mickey Mantle. So of speak. course. So no, it's kind of how. Uh, Dark Phoenix here, metal. These are to get graded. Spider-Man metal to get graded, to get graded, to get graded. Here, okay. Chasing those out of ten. So let's let's go to these. Okay. Um, really fun one. Well, uh, most of them. This is another buyback out of twenty again. Spider-Man to get Insane. graded here. This is a modern set, EPAC only, out of 50, signed by the artist Spider-Man. Gonna get it graded. Wow. These again, Dark Phoenix. I told you I collect her out of this set, and these are the Planet Metals. This one's not numbered, the aluminum, but the copper's out of 85, and it's the Alpha. And then I've got the oh my goodness, Platinum man. out of 49, uh -huh. and then the Gold oh, out of 15. Geez. Oh, wow. Yeah. You don't see many of those. Yeah, so well, you can only see 15 of them, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this, one will, this one will probably really then, uh, blow your mind. So it looks like the pink that we saw earlier. That is, that's not the one. It's the one of one. Holy. 
Yeah, so as you can I see just, here. I thought it was the purple. That's the purple, right? This is the purple out of oh one goodness. of one. So oh of Dark Phoenix for this set, I have the one of one, the printing plates. I have the highest graded green PMG and a nine. I have the red, the pink, uh, the gosh, the black, the blue, uh, every parallel. Yeah, uh, the platinum portraits, the planet metals, which you just saw, the palladium, I mean, uh, the purely periodics, all, all of it. Dude, this so, is insane. Uh, very much a fan uh, of, of her. That is insane. Good for you. Thank wow. you. I've never really seen a one of one in person. That's nuts. Oh, because Top's copyrighted the Slash X. Mm -hmm. Upper Deck. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, so the Upper Deck can't do the Slash X. Wow, that's wild. Dude, that is... Isn't that cool? Yeah, never sell that. <laughs> no, it's, it's Dark Phoenix is... The only thing that would ever happen with Dark Phoenix is to get Peter Parker. Okay, okay. Um, oh my goodness. This that is a gold is absolutely out of massive. 25 from yeah. Planet, wow. uh, from uh, Marvel Metal. Mm -hmm. This is out of Masterpieces. This one's out of 25. Wow. It got a seven, but these thick cards are so difficult. Sure, but, but what a beautiful, gosh. Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's, that's here's what's cool about this card. It's like really candid because you know, he has to sell photos of himself to make money. Mm -hmm. So he's actually, this is the camera. Oh, and the camera's oh. in the web. He's taking a quick photo of himself because, you know, he's probably got to take Mary Jane out to lunch or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I just love, love, love the storytelling of that card. Uh, PMGs get the oh headlines. You know, yeah, obviously yeah, there's yeah, a lot more than PMGs, but uh, I got the dreaded 8.5. <laughs> and what's they really- They just weren't sure. <laughs> uh, not quite a nine. What, what's really frustrating about this is it got the 8.5 primarily because when I got this card in hand, I was it was my first uh, red PMG of Spider-Man, and I was just nervous about it, and I barely nicked this corner getting it out of the sleeve. Oh. It probably. What a beautiful, I mean. It, oh, I otherwise, it's like a, a, a oh, perfect I copy. Oh, I see, I see. And uh, so I, I. What a beautiful card. Did it to myself. What a beautiful card. That's an awesome card. Yeah, oh, thank you. Goodness. Yeah, so this one's out of 99, 29 out of 99. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so wow, we showed these. So you tend the buyback. Out of 10. Out of 10. The buyback out of 10. My goodness. So it's six of 10, has the stamp on the back. And you gotta be careful with these stamps because when they stamped it, mm -hmm. sometimes it actually like tears. Okay. So you have to pay attention to that, but this is just, that's got to be a pop one one. I would say. It is actually not a pop one. Oddly enough, uh, it, it's not. But it, it, it's really mind blowing that it's not a pop one of one. Yeah, he's got some competition out there. I got some competition. Uh, look, I'm very grateful. Honestly, if everybody got a ten on this, there's only ten. Like I don't, I don't care. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't matter to me. Right. But to think the the journey that this card went on, it was made in '95. It was put in a pack. Upper Deck bought it back, ripped it, put it in another pack. It was ripped and shipped to me, then shipped to PSA. And it still, still got a ten. Still got a ten. That so, is wild. It's super wild. So I love that. <laughs> this is also out of ten. Buyback. He got a nine, but that's the alpha one of ten. There. Wow. All right. This is my number one card in my collection. Oh my goodness. So this is the Amazing Fantasy 15 Comic Cut Clipping. This is Holy an actual shit. panel from an Amazing 15 comic book. It's a beautiful portrait of Spider-Man in the I suit. Think I saw that somewhere. Yeah, it made its rounds on the internet. My but it's God. three of 15. That is insane. But it got a pristine. That's insane. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> May I? Yeah, go right ahead. Thank you. I mean, that is... The whole presentation is fantastic. I mean, that is absolutely absurd. Actually cut from there, yeah, so that... Huh. So, I told you, I traded. I traded a full set of graded jambalayas in PSA with five PSA 10s, four which were pop ones, to get this card. Okay. You see how I'm trading up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy jeez. That's... that's, to that's get the, uh, yeah, I mean, what... Mm -hmm. I mean... <laughs> That's it. Because oh, even though there are 15 Amazing Fantasy comic cuts, there's only one of this panel. Of his face. Yeah, I mean, because they, they cut it and they bought, an Amazing Fantasy 15 goes anywhere from 20 yeah, to gonna say a million dollars. Yeah, like, no, I know. So they, they probably had a, a, maybe a lower end one. Well, so the Upper Deck did do a podcast. They bought it at the right time before 2020. Okay. And they, they, have, they cut up what they think is actually a really decent grade. 
So <laughs> it, it's, it's like, like when they cut that Babe Ruth bat yeah. up and you're like, that was a million dollars. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, because actually, yeah, so the paper is pristine on that cut. It's it, not creased or anything nothing. like that or faded. Nothing. It's beautiful. Uh, here we it's have. Like, where do you go from there? I, 60. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, oh, yeah. It's what oh, this, look that's at, the Don Russ. Wow. This is the write your own caption. Remember me telling you with this card right here, I thought it was like pretty candid, mm -hmm. but it's him taking photos to make money. But he's that's like, that's an awesome card. But he's taking a photo of you. It looks brand new. The centering top to bottom, left to right, I'm 60 40 better. I mean, it's, 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 it's an eight. No, it looks pristine. It's yeah, pristine. the, it's the presentation is what matters it's here. It's incredible. I mean, it's crystal white. I love it. Very happy to have it. Uh, 92 really means a lot for the hobby. Th th this is actually still a decently low pop. Uh, these cars are not easy to just rip and grade. Because of a the ten. chipping on the back. Chipping, the centering actually is not very good okay. on, on Marvel Masterpieces. That's true with a lot of 90s cars. Mm -hmm. don't, don't think you're just going to buy a box of 90s, open rip. it up, send it and get PSA 10s. No. A lot of these have been sent in still. Don't think you can do that now either. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a 2013 Fleer Retro. Wow. Red PMG. Look at the. Uh on that so yeah man dude that's well my mind is blown <laughs> like yeah you're really saving the bet that's that's absolutely ludicrous yeah. so if people want to find you obviously you're in uh roswell yeah georgia. we're in roswell georgia here yeah. uh right outside the city of atlanta just go up 400 off of mansell we're right here next to north point mall um we've been around for about a year and a half DaveSportsCards.com. I'm Dave Oliveri. And so you're on online too? We're online at DaveSportsCards.com. We have a beautiful website. All of the boxes are for sale anytime online as well, but the awesome. cards are kind of in store only. Now, question for you. What's your like favorite social media? Is it Instagram, TikTok? Instagram, definitely. We are trying to build the TikTok brand, yeah. um, but Instagram's really been our, our go-to. I think we're almost at 4,000 followers, but it's organic. They're all real followers, all real people. So for, yeah, you have quite a bit of followers, so that's yeah. good. It, it's hard too, it's hard but it takes time so. it does well dave man this has really been a pleasure it's been an absolute pleasure thank you for showing us absolute the store pleasure love the sweatshirt oh thank we're you. gonna get him a dave sports cards dry fit before he goes you're, go you're gonna be seeing it all right everybody thank you for watching do me a favor hit the like video make sure you go subscribe to dave sports cards on instagram and tiktok if you're on tiktok but as always i hope you have a marvelous day